Hey gamers, Don here for Need to Know, and this is Pool Slide Story. Um, this isn't going to be a formal review or anything of the sort, and I can't call it first impressions because I've already finished the game after uh, obsessively playing for maybe three days, so <laughs> this will be an impressions and a kind of tips and tricks video because this is the first Kyrosoft, that's the uh, developer, uh, game to hit the PSN, and I was pretty excited about it. So, um, Kyrosoft, we'll start there. Uh, they're a development team that puts out simulation games in which you run your own, etc. Um, you can run a school, a mall, in this case a water park, they have one for a farm, they have one for an island where you battle monsters, like they've got a ton of games. Uh, most of them are on mobile, some of them have made their way over to the Nintendo Switch and now PlayStation 4, so... I'm happy to see that they're branching out. Um, I wish I could have paid the $5 you would on iOS, but I mean, I guess the Switch and the PS4 being heavier machines with higher requirements, um, the price kind of goes up a bit. So this will cost you $12.99 on the PSN. It'll keep you entertained for uh, maybe four or five hours while you get all the trophies, and if you're the sort who likes to beat their um, high score, then it'll keep you entertained for even longer. So let's take a look. This is the very first part of the game when you are learning the ropes. Um, as you can see, I don't have much going on here. I have a few, a few pools, I have a couple of chairs to sit on, I have a couple of stores, but not much else. So um, as you progress, you will of course unlock a different um, businesses to open in your park, different uh, recreational things like the slide I just earned, etc. My first tip would be not to expand too quickly. Um, you will swiftly run out of money because you have to pay maintenance each night. You only gain money when people enter your park, when they pay right at that front gate, and if they use your facilities. The pools are completely free, the slides are completely free, and the seats for now are completely free. So you won't be making back a lot of money early on. When you do start unlocking some facilities, make sure you place only one. Now, uh, normally in a Kyrosoft game, buildings have synergies. So like if I place, um, I don't know, a greenhouse outside in the sun next to a plant, then those three objects together would create some sort of bonus effect. Um, for whatever reason, Pulse Slide Story does not have the synergies, so it really makes no difference um, trying to build different combinations of structures. Also, always be mindful of the requirements for ranking up. As you rank up, you will gain popularity and more people will come to visit your park. More people means more money. Simple business, really. And of course, as you gain more popularity, you'll gain expansions, which means a bigger park. Bigger park means more people, means more money. Um, as you can see here, I'm a little further along. I've got more cash. I've got a, a larger facility, and I've definitely got more people coming in. As you expand, you also get outdoor pools. The difference, of course, being that they get that um, sunlight effect, which sometimes makes them more popular. You'll also notice that these schools are colored. You can actually buy items in the shop. Items can be used to cook, an aspect that I very much liked, because I like crafting in any game, as well as to um, add them to the pool. Combinations such as, let's say, red and blue, of course, will get you purple, etc., etc. Those all make sense. You'll also unlock different tiles. And something I thought was interesting was the social media presence that you have. Um, gaining likes on pools, you can add likes yourself. The um, AI will like each other's posts. But getting likes on pools makes them more popular, and the more popular they are, the more of a crowd they will attract. You'll start getting quite a bit of posts once your park starts to get bigger. Here's the shop I mentioned. Um, once you first start out, there's barely anything in it, but then 
there will be a ton of stuff. You can see down at the bottom what color it will change your pool as well as the scent it will add. Um, guests will ask for specifically scented and colored pools and fulfilling their wishes will um, unlock other guests that will attend your park. Now, some of these are merely cooking items, meaning they won't have an effect on the pool. I mean, who would want to dump a raw pork chop into a pool? I'm not going to judge if that's something you do. Um, but the cooking aspect, you pick a few of these ingredients I'm currently purchasing, and you mix them together. Um, the game does a good job of telling you sometimes, like, hey, if you add ice to this, you can get something completely different. Or if you want, you can just throw a bunch of random items in. Um, the combinations, for the most part, do make sense. So let's say if I added a cabbage um, and two other vegetables, I'd get coleslaw, because that is in fact how you make coleslaw, of course, minus the mayonnaise. Here's an example of cooking, I ignored the ice, but after adding all these ingredients, I got drum roll. Papaya milk mixed fruit juice, which I can then add to the menus in my stores, and they can sell it. Now, um, items have compatibility, as marked here, anything with a double green circle is the best compatibility, and you want to try to match items up based on where they're compatible. Um, my next tip, you can use decorations to change scents. So this had a citrus scent, and this person just asked me for a coffee orange pool. Now that's going to be a pain in the ass to throw in objects until it smells like coffee, but it's also orange. So instead of adding in coffee beans, I'm going to place some coffee trees. If these guys would leave me alone long enough for me to complete this. Yeah, you'll get a ton of requests once your pool starts getting more popular. So yeah, there's the citrus scent that you just saw. Gonna build those in the first category. Decorations. Coffee tree. So I'll place them here and here. If you would leave me alone. It'll never be available. Never. Anywho, so now we have an orange coffee pool. So yeah, gamers, I definitely recommend Pool Slide Story. Um, even though Pool Slide, it should have been Water Park Story or something. Um, there's four total pools that you can unlock. The actual, you know, uh, Six Flag-esque pools that you have to climb on a ladder to get to the top of and have a lifeguard dude wave you down when it's your turn. Um, not a ton of those. To unlock additional slides, you have to invest in them using the activity menu. Um, they're the more expensive ones towards the end, so make sure you pay for those investments as soon as you are able. Um, soon, you'll have more money than you know what to do with, so don't worry if you're struggling in the earlier stages of the game. Just make sure that when the fees for maintenance come out, you are in the blue, okay? Uh, if you go down in the red afterwards, it's fine, just as long as you build it up back to the blue. The game does not penalize you for ever being in the red, except for when you have to pay out maintenance when your balance is already in the red. My final tip is to take care of patron wishes as soon as possible. Um, taking care of their wishes will require um, specific things such as building a pool of a different color and scent and even temperature like I mentioned before, but also to build a particular restaurants in your facility, uh, in your park, excuse me. Um, have those restaurants serve different things which you can do via the cooking menu that I showed you earlier and etc. So completing those wishes unlocks more structures for you to build in your park as well as more attendees so you want that the more people who come in the more money they'll bring in and the more additional people that they will um, give access to your park so um, if these tips helped you at all let me know in the comments below please thumb up the video so that other people can see this as well um, if this is your first kairosoft game let me know what you thought of it i think the series are great and i own most of their games um, at least on my phone um, if this is not your first Kairosoft story, I'm also interested in hearing from you because I thought it was a little strange that they removed the synergies. 
Um, I thought those were a great aspect and it was really fun to figure out what worked best next to what, but maybe it was too complex, maybe it didn't work here, what with the pools and whatnot, I don't know. Anywho, um, enjoy the rest of the video, it's just me fine-tuning the perfect park. I've been Dawn from Need to Know, stay in the know.